more ways to solve the GPU configuration warning in DaVinci Resolve. The first solution to fix this problem is by clicking on DaVinci Resolve inside the software, then go to Preferences, then go to System, and then to Memory and GPU. Here, by default, these two boxes next to Auto will be checked off, so go ahead and uncheck them and change CUDA to OpenCL. And also make sure that your dedicated GPU is selected, so the one that says dis discrete. Once that is done, click on Save. And these changes will take effect once you have restarted DaVinci Resolve. This is only a quick fix if your GPU does not support uh, CUDA 11 or the driver does not uh, support CUDA 11. So now you may be able to edit. However, I recommend watching the other solutions because CUDA 11 may be a bit faster than the OpenCL. Solution number two. This is a solution for the NVIDIA users, so you can skip to solution number three if you're not using uh, NVIDIA. What you want to do now is to open the GeForce Experience application on your computer. So just search for it and open it. Uh, if you don't have it, I will show you how you can get it in the next solution. Inside the GeForce Experience, here you want to click on Drivers. And now you want to go up here in the right hand top corner and you want to click on these three dots. And here you have the alternative to choose studio driver instead of the game ready driver. So the studio driver is best for editing and the game driver is better for gaming. And many people who have had this GPU configuration warning have fixed their problem by using the studio driver. If you can't see these three dots, uh, that means you have an older version of the GeForce experience. And in that case, you can simply download a driver from the NVIDIA website and then you will get this uh, new software included. And that's what I'm going to show you in the solution 3. And this solution is not only relevant to NVIDIA. So, since one of those GPU configuration warnings uh, warned us that the driver might be outdated or it's bad or something like that, then updating our driver is the best uh, alternative. To do this, head over to the uh, manufacturer uh, website, their official website. So, here is one for Intel, here is for Nvidia, and here is for AMD. I will leave a link in the description to all of these pages. In order to download a driver for your GPU, you have to know the name of it. So on Windows, you can simply open the device manager and then you expand the dis display adapters. And here you can see the name of your GPU. So this is my dedicated GPU which is the one I want to update the driver for. It's an NVIDIA, so here is their website. I will fill in the details. And you also want the studio driver for the NVIDIA. This process is pretty much the same for Intel and AMD as well. So now click on search. And here you can simply download the driver. And once it's downloaded, double click on the file, go through the installation process. And for NVIDIA, remember to include the GeForce Experience if you could not see those three dots. And then you have updated your driver. Once that is done, restart your computer and then launch DaVinci Resolve. If you still experience the GPU configuration warning after updating Resolve, telling you that you can't run uh, CUDA 11, I recommend checking out this table here on Wikipedia and then check if your GPU is included in the compute capability 1.2 or above. I will leave a link to this page in the description. If your GPU is included in one of these uh, rows or columns here. In that case, using OpenCL 1.2 is one of your alternatives. Or you can download the DaVinci Resolve 16.2.6. You have to go to latest download and then you scroll down quite far. I will leave a link to this site in the description as well. The solution number four is to update DaVinci Resolve. To do this, inside DaVinci Resolve, click on DaVinci Resolve 
and then click on check for updates. And here you can see I'm up to date, so that's not my problem. But if you can update, I recommend you to do it. And the fifth solution is if you have recently updated your GPU driver or you have recently updated DaVinci Resolve and then the error occurred, then I recommend trying to go back to the previous version of Resolve or your GPU driver. 